Uh, this video is going to be showcasing um, of the word bin board on the website enchan.net. So I'll be going over how a Chan website works, which is very simple. Uh, also how word bin is being used. Uh, so if you're familiar with how Chan works, it's great. But stick around because it's sort of a experiment in the it's intended to be used differently than a normal Chan board. All right, so let's go over what a Chan is. Um, when someone talks about a Chan, like 4chan or 8chan, they're referring to an anonymous image board. Meaning, uh, when you post to these websites, uh, you're doing so without attaching your name to it. Users can post a thread on, with a certain topic, and other users can reply. And Chan is another anonymous image board, uh, which allows users to create their own board. Uh, Wordbin was created on Nchan as a way for users to share their ideas slash writing anonymously. Uh, so if you ever had an idea or wrote a poem or story or maybe even just like a dream, uh, never wanted to publicly showcase that with your name associated to it, Wordbin allows you to post those thoughts and you'll get unfiltered feedback and replies because um, everyone else is anonymous too, right? Alright, so how do you navigate the Wordbin board? First, it is hosted on Nchan. Net. All right. So this is the word bin board. Up the top here is the navigation bar. This is more for Enchan's navigation. Um, help has like uh, formatting options and stuff like that. Uh, you can watch threads. So if you click the little watch thing here, it pops up on your little menu. And this is more Enchan social stuff. So moving past the uh, headers here, there's some inboard navigation. This will bring you back to the all of Enchan's boards. Catalog and bring you to the bottom of the screen. Um, so past that we have the text area. This is where you'll type um, and then add a new topic, subject. You can add a file if you'd like. Um, and past this is the index. So this will have the top 10 most recently replied to threads. Um, when someone replies, they'll uh, bump the board to the top of the index. Uh, so right below these pinned threads, will show up right here. Um, to reply to a thread, uh, you can just hit the reply button at the top of the menu here. So this will bring you to that thread, to the meta and rules thread here, um, and you're in reply mode. Uh, so if you fill this text area now, instead of creating a thread, you'll be replying to uh, this thread, and your post will be brought to the bottom of it, just like this. If you want to reply uh, to a reply, you can hit the number associated with the reply, and that'll bring up the quick reply menu. Uh, you see it already auto-filled, that number, um, but you can more easily bring it up like this. If I want to quote 27 here, just like that. Um, and this is the same exact screen that is on the top here. So if I close that out, I could just post my reply here if I wanted. Uh, just like so. Um, to hide posts, you can hit the little X bar here and that'll hide in case you don't want to see that, uh, you can bring it back up again by showing that. Um, at the bottom, there's some navigation buttons. Uh, so this will bring you back to the index. Uh, the catalog will show you in a second. You can do auto refresh, so you don't have to refresh your page manually. It'll just keep doing replies if, it's, if the thread is moving fast. Uh, you can change the layout a little bit, um, but that's all personal stuff for you. Uh, you 
change the time, how the uh, time is displayed, so you can enable real time and postal. You can hide the time or hide delete. It's relative time, a few days ago, stuff like that. Um, so if I go to the catalog, or actually if I go return, this will bring you back to the index. And I can go to the catalog to see all of the threads that have been made. A more compact area. This will show them all as they grow. Bring it back to the index. And this is very easy to navigate. Um, you really just pay attention to the uh, address bar here and how it moves. And you just click forward and back and stuff like that and wherever you're going. Um, and it won't trip up or anything because it's, it's a very, very simple website. Um, so that's basically how you use a Chan. And they all work the same way. Um, so how is uh, WordBin different? Um, the board can be better classified as like a paste bin type website. Um, just now others can comment, right? The point is to share your ideas in writing uh, without having your name attached to it. Uh, so you'll be getting this unfiltered feedback. Uh, and then also, if enough people nominate your post, uh, they'll be featured in their respective categories. So that's these pin threads. There'll be a collection of these posts um, when we get enough people posting. Um, how do you post? How do you use it? Like I said, the um, comment here. So uh, while on the index page, you type the words. Um, so I'm just going to So just something as simple as that. Um, be sure to, um, or you can also add a uh, an image here, just like this. That'll bring up images. You don't have to though. But be sure to add a category at the top line. Um, I like to add a little space here just for easier reading. Uh, so these are the current tags, the categories. Uh, so this is more of like a thought tests are good. So I can use nchan's formatting like this and anything inside these two equal signs will turn red uh, and bold like this. So if I type in my hashtag thought I can hit new topic and that will send it. Thread has been created and it will bring you to that thread now. And it's just as simple as that. You are anonymous. Less than a minute ago, I can use local time. I can reply to it if I want, but others will do that as well, maybe. Um, so that's the concept. Um, I hope this video sparks an interest enough uh, to visit the page, uh, maybe read a post or two, maybe even share something of your own. Um, it's not like anyone will ever know. Anyway, that's it. Uh, thank you, and God bless.